Tesla Cybertruck was presented in 2019 by Tesla and was an upcoming battery electric light duty. It'll be competing against the Ford F-Series, which has been the best-selling truck for the longer part of history. Will it be able to keep up? Let's see! Cybertruck was unveiled at the Tesla Design Studio in Los Angeles on the 21st of November 2019. During the launch, Tesla claimed that the Cybertruck's armor glass windows were nearly unbreakable, but two windows shattered when Franz von Holshausen threw an essence ball at each of them. Musk jokingly blatted that the ball did not make it through, and we'll fix it in the post. Oh my f***ing god. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> it didn't go through, let's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the right. Try that one, really? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh man. It didn't go through. <laughs> he later claimed that the windows were damaged because, in an earlier demonstration, the door was hit by a sledgehammer that cracked the base of the glass. At the end of the event, the Tesla Cyber Squad, an all terrain vehicle, or ATV, was driven onto the bed of the Cybertruck using erected in ramps in the tailgate. The Cyberquad was plugged into the Cybertruck's onboard power outlet to charge the Cyberquad's batteries. The ATV will be available for trade as a voluntary package with the Cybertruck. Numerous social media observers disliked the sharp silhouettes and the unusual surface. Tesla Inc. stock declined by six following the advertisement. On the 23rd of November 2019, Musk tweeted that Tesla had entered 146,000 pre-orders in the first 1.5 days after the unveiling, each taking a 100 US dollar refundable deposit, with 42 choosing the binary motor configuration, 41 choosing the tri-motor configuration, and 17 choosing the single motor configuration. The number was reported to be 250,000 on the 26th of November. The world was promised that the Cybertruck would be available in 2022. The CEO of Twitter, Elon Musk, has shared some crazy updates about the Cybertruck. Elon Musk has officially revealed his intention to begin mass production of the Tesla Cybertruck by the end of 2023. When Tesla and Elon Musk presented the Tesla Cybertruck in 2019, the world was told the production was supposed to begin in late 2022, but the date was pushed back. This clearly created heavy backlogs for the company and extreme delays for some time. Elon Musk declared that Tesla would not be launching any new vehicles in 2022. Thus, the Cybertruck was delayed again. Now, moving forward, after Elon Musk disclosed some significant updates on the Cybertruck, including the cost, Tesla announced that it was waiting for the preparation of the Austin, Texas manufacturing plant so it could manufacture the Cybertruck there. The company also stated that they were underway on the final stages of the Cybertruck, which was the stainless steel frame. When it comes to leaks of automobiles, this adores cars enthusiasts above all, especially related to the futuristic Tesla flagship, the Cybertruck. During a podcast, Franz, the head of design with Ryan McCaffrey, told that the Cybertruck would be slightly smaller than the prototype. And of this opening statement, Fans of the Cybertruck can rest assured that the steering wheel and stainless steel complete the design. Franz also said that we must deliver a high level of efficiency and performance, and we also have to be sure that the truck can be modified according to your needs. The company has also confirmed that the price of the Cybertruck would increase as hundreds and thousands of people have already pre-booked the vehicle. Three models have been blazoned, with EPA range estimates of 400 to 800 kilometers, or 250 to 500 miles, and an established 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, or 0 to 62 miles per hour, in a time of 2.9 to 6.5 seconds, depending on the model. Isn't that crazy? These stats are amazing for an electric pickup truck. Ford and other companies are already trying to mark up the territory with their electric pickups but none of them has truly acquired the territory yet. If you talk about safety, the Cybertruck is made on an exoskeleton platform. All versions of the Cybertruck will have the Tesla's autopilot and advanced driver assist features standard. An additional self-driving option will be offered for $7,000. The Cybertruck can go from zero to 60 miles per hour in less than 6.5 seconds at the low end and 2.9 seconds at the high end. The mid-range dual motor version does it in 4.5 seconds. Towing capacity for the single motor version is around 7,500 pounds, dual motor around 10,000 pounds, 
and Trimotor around 14,000 pounds. These features are crazy, and you get all this in an everyday pickup truck. All in all, it does seem like the all-new Cybertruck is turning a lot of heads around, and this is a big deal. When the Cybertruck was first introduced, it didn't go very well into the public domain. However, this time, it feels like something was done right. An old design with updated machinery is what people are really excited about, but will this be worth it? The truck's interior is equally outstanding, and in every manner, exceeds its expectation. Many standard features and options are not widely known, but some of the initial pictures tell that a dashboard resembles a slab and is entirely dominated by a vast touchscreen, although nothing has been confirmed by the company. The Cybertruck will have six seats and a six-point-foot cargo bed. Also, with 100 cubic feet of space, it will also have a slide-out tailgate that acts as a ramp for loading motorcycles and four-wheelers. Tesla cars prioritize safety above all else, and will equip every vehicle with a controversial system which is known as the self-driving technology that every Tesla comes with. For $7,000, the company promises to provide a fully automated self-driving option. With all their modern anonymities, Tesla should declare the Cybertruck a tech box. The car obviously has the signature auto drive feature and the shifting seats, which is a new addition, really add up to a lot more than just an update. The bed of the truck is planned to be a standard size bed, 6.5 bases, or 2.0 meters long, analogous to a conventional volley truck bed. It has lean side walls, similar to a first generation Honda Ridgeline, and a planned integral motorized comber shuttle style tonneau cover to ameliorate the aerodynamics of the vehicle. Because of the fresh security this provides, Tesla terms this 100 boxy bottom or 2.8 meters cubed enclosed space, the vault. It includes LED lighting strips along each side and a fresh underbottom storehouse space behind the hinder bus, 120 and 240 volts AC outlets, and a compressed air outlet for curvaceous tools. While one composition claims that there's a pass-through to the cabin for long wait, the displayed prototype lacks any corresponding opening in the front of the bed. The cabin's climate control was anticipated to be available in the vault for uses similar to camping. This is an X factor that the Tesla Cybertruck has, and its carrying capacity is crazy. It also offers quad bikes made by the Teslas, which goes with the Cybertruck. In the United States, the total non-transferable request for pickup trucks is over 2 million vehicles per time. It has been argued that the Cybertruck will be suitable to take advantage of the Tesla network of participating vehicles to induce an income sluice if the Ultimate were to come available in the United States and worldwide. The Cybertruck's debut was one of the worst intros in the car industry, but it looks like that's not the case anymore. Click on one of the two videos on the screen right now.